Right now, we're going to visit the former home of a Tullahoma mayor, now home of some delightful gourmet dining. It's all the result of a Franco-American romance that led to a husband-wife restaurant team. If you traveled through Tullahoma several decades ago, locals would point out this early 1900s house as the home of the city's longtime mayor, now designated as a local landmark. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Since 2001, this house has been the home of Emil's, a unique dining adventure here in Tullahoma that's attracting adventurous diners from well beyond the city limits. We define ourselves as casual, fun, fine food. Um, our soup this evening, we have a spicy Manhattan style clam chowder. That's the tomato based chowder. We have two dinner specials tonight. First, we have fresh buttermilk fried um, main cod. That's Tammy Martin, who's in charge of howdy do's and hospitality up front. Grilled barbecued salmon with white cheddar cheese grits and fried spinach. That's her French-born hubby, George, who's in charge of culinary duties in the frantic kitchen out back. They met in the restaurant business years ago in Atlanta. They found the home of their dream dining establishment years ago here in her hometown. So I actually approached the owner sitting on the front porch and they acknowledged that yes, the house was for sale. And I asked if we could see it and they said now was great for them. So I came in and looked at it and knew immediately and called George on my cell phone because he was still in Atlanta and said I found the perfect place. And he was up that weekend and we signed a contract and so it was absolutely meant to be that we'd be here. Since George was raised in a family of chefs, the French influence is unmistakable. But make no mistake, Emile's is not a French restaurant. In all honesty, if we had been a French restaurant from the get-go, we wouldn't be here today. It had to be food that people can relate to, but gradually with time we have brought you know, new things like couscous and fava beans, but yet keeping in mind that this is Tullahoma, Tennessee, this is not culture shock. We don't want people to be afraid of us. We don't want to be stereotyped as a French restaurant. No chance with popular appetizers like fried green tomatoes Neapolitan. Yet one of George's secrets is his knack for getting fresh fish. And that's a group of special for the evening. In the case of the popular rainbow trout, the fish is as fresh as a farm down the road. Ready for your trout? Well. See you next Thank week. You. Thanks. Also, George believes in keeping the menu fresh. It keeps the customers fascinated as well as the chef. If you become in a routine with your food, if you're going to keep the same menu forever, you're going to become slack and you lose purpose. And to me, food has to make sense. It has to be fun, but it has to make sense. And I think that we do a pretty good job with that. And he also does a wonderful job of taking advantage of foods in season. You know, not only are they fresher and better, but, you know, we are a business and economically it's better to use um, produce and fruits when they're in season rather than trying to use them out of season. Good food is never out of season here, and the customers we surveyed seem to echo the same sentiment that Emil's offers a special touch of casual class here in Tullahoma. French on one end and southern Tennessee on the other end, which is Pretty difficult for a Frenchman, I would say, you know. And you couple his food with uh, Tammy's service, it's pretty tough to beat. Well, it's a perfect combination of great food in an uh, easy setting, and so that's wonderful for Americans to enjoy. Now, for me, the big challenge was making a choice from the eclectic menu here. So, I narrowed it down to beef tips, some prime rib, and, well, I couldn't pass up the grouper. This ought to do it. I had a pretty big lunch. Now, while dining, you can't miss the new art on the walls of this old house, which represent a personal touch from George. They are all menus from Europe, mostly from France, but some menus from, from Denmark, some really older menus from the 60s, and a lot of fine prints, tapestry prints on the menu covers. Menu covers in France sometimes are pretty much, you know, a piece of art by themselves. 
George is not only a passionate gourmet chef in his own right, he's dedicated to passing on his skills to aspiring chefs-to-be, with interns always in the kitchen. Because once you're a chef, a lot of guys seem to forget everything they've learned, but you have to keep giving. You have to, once you're a chef, you have to show your employees what you do and why you do it. And that's why I say a chef is a teacher. The Martins took a gamble bringing this gourmet dining concept to Tammy's childhood home, but the committed customer base proves Emil's is a local winner that keeps winning new fans from near and far. Because we're an independent family-owned restaurant, there are usually one or two weeks a year that we close, and it's so heartwarming when your customers say to you, I'm so excited for you, you deserve it. You know, go and have a fabulous week with your children. And, but, but be you sure know. to come back so we can eat. That's right, that's right. It's really right. good when you come back and you feel like, wow, they miss us. Okay. Yeah, because so they come. <laughs> they, they come do. back with a vengeance. They do. Back to an historic house where true love brought truly great dining to Tullahoma and beyond.